Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it's time to make some soap. Today I'll be doing what should be a pretty simple pour. I'm going to be using Brambleberry's Lush Succulent. This is a favorite of mine. I've used it many times. It has been reformulated and I don't think I've used it since it's been reformulated. It was done to make it more IFRA compliant so you can use a higher percentage. Um, I'm going to go on faith that it still behaves well and Brambleberry says it does. I'm going to try a new mica. I haven't used this before. It's called Synergy from Nurture Soap. That is going to be the darker green. Then I'm going to use Brambleberry's Aqua Pearl for a lighter green. And then Titanium Dioxide White. Just going to drop it in and add the hanger swirl to it. So it should be pretty simple. So actually, that's enough intro. So give me a minute to get everything mixed up and we'll get started. Okay, I think we're ready. So in these smaller cups, I just blend my titanium dioxide straight in, unless I'm really, really needing to keep it thin for a long time. So I just trap that under the head, turn it on, and hold it a few seconds and pull it up. So let me get my greens in now. And I intentionally have more white than I do greens. <clears throat> so let's do our synergy over here. And I think about a heaping teaspoon should do. And let's do our Aqua Pearl over here, about a teaspoon should do. Give me the hand stir. And I have lost my whisk. I had that thing. I had it all ready. Here, here, where it's supposed to be. I put it away, that's why I couldn't find it. That looks good. And this is Synergy I have not used, but yeah, I can tell a distinct difference in it, so that's good. And I'm going to hit these with the blender, and then I'm going to hand stir the fragrance. There we go. So yeah, so far this fragrance is behaving. The reformulation is working. Got my hanger right in front of me, so hopefully I won't forget to use it. I'll start with a fair amount of our white in the bottom.
Okay, I'm back and it's time to cut our soap. Now the pour went really well, although the batter was really thin. Um, that shows that the fragrance behaves well. I don't think my two greens are very distinct. I don't think I'm, I think it's going to be basically just one green. And I like to never got this out of the mold. 24 hours later, I still ended up really messing the back up. Now it's nice and firmed up now. It's been sitting an additional two hours in the air, so it was really thin. So I'm a little concerned about what the hanger did. Let's take a look. Yeah, you can't see the two greens, which is okay, not a big deal. So let's see what the swirls look like with that batter being so thin. It smells fantastic and the top looks really good. Okay, that's not bad. Better than I thought. Now how on earth did I have some holes there as thin as that batter was? I do not know. This is still really soft seed on my hand, so yeah, th this will take a while to set up. This one might have to take a little longer to cure, which is not a problem. And I'll finish off camera. So overall, uh, it's not bad by any means. Not quite what I expected. It was a little too thin. And I don't have the two distinct greens that I was hoping. But overall, it's definitely not bad. And the fragrance smells fantastic. And it's good to know that it behaves well. So that is what I have. And I'll get some pictures uploaded. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Take good care of yourselves and be blessed. Bye, everybody.